Colonic Construction Reality Unfolded An Invitation for Collaboration by the Meta Modelers To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour the visionary William Blake was by no means a fan of the rational, deterministic Newtonian physics of his day, and yet his romanticism best captures our ambitions set out here, to understand and describe reality's fundamental source code. It will soon be 2020, way past the time that many had predicted we would have cracked the code to understanding all of reality a time when we would begin to accurately predict the future and even re-engineer the present and gain new perspectives on our past. Following the great leaps of progress in the 20th century, the seemingly diminishing returns of today's scientific breakthroughs have led many to reconsider more fundamental themes to describe the underpinnings of reality. So, let's get the eight ball rolling, shall we? In recent years, several physicists and mathematicians have come into public awareness by suggesting that eight-dimensional constructs may be the basis for reality. The theoretical physicist Garrett Lisi captured much attention when in 2007 he posted a paper entitled An Exceptionally Simple Theory of Everything, often referred to as E8 theory. Garrett has postulated that the perfectly symmetrical 248-dimensional object E8 describes may correlate with the interactions between all known and unknown forces and particles within our universe. And yet, while it offers a truly beautiful and symmetrical solution, it currently remains incomplete. More recently, in 2018, Cole Fury a mathematical physicist at the University of Cambridge received similar attention when her work was published in Quanta magazine under the title The Peculiar Math That Could Underlie the Laws of Nature. The article states that her new findings are fueling an old suspicion that fundamental particles and forces spring from unusual eight-part numbers called octonians, which are the most complex of the four normed division algebras. The mathematician John Baez has also mused and flirted with their significance, stating, The real numbers are the dependable breadwinner of the family, the complete ordered field we all rely on. The complex numbers are a slightly flashier but still respectable younger brother, not ordered but algebraically complete. The quaternions, being non-commutative, are the eccentric cousin who is shunned at important family gatherings. But the Octonians are the crazy old uncle nobody lets out of the attic. They are non-associative. On a recent Joe Rogan podcast, Eric Weinstein described Octonians as so weird that mathematicians don't really understand why they are there. These are each tantalising perspectives, and perhaps may only lack a further insight to view the mathematical and physical tools used as having emerged themselves from a more fundamental meta-layer. Just imagine you had a message for the world in 2020. A message of the most vital importance. A message that could potentially unstick wherever we're stuck. One which could accelerate our evolutionary potential far beyond our greatest advances to date. In his book, the Denial of Death, published shortly before his untimely death, Ernest Becker wrote, We can conclude that a project as grand as the scientific mythical construction of victory over human limitation is not something that can be programmed by science. The most that any one of us can seem to do is to fashion something, an object or ourselves, and drop it into the confusion, make an offering of it, so to speak, to the life force. In our case, the offering we have worked long and hard to fashion is a toolset we call holonic construction. In this reasonably short video, we hope to explain how it can be applied 
so you too can unlock the seeming secrets of previously complex or misunderstood phenomena, including the underlying true nature of space and time themselves. You don't have to be a physicist or mathematician to apply holonic construction, but a little intuition will go a long way. A holon is something that is simultaneously a whole and a part. By this definition, everything is holonic. A fractal is a good example of a holon, as its parts and holes are self-similar at all levels, with each part representing a whole at the same time. This implies that seeds contain the essence of trees and trees contain the essence of seeds. Both are true. Holonic construction involves four stages, which describe a universal one, two, four, eight progression, before repeating with high agency. The first three stages are self-similar adaptions of the same form, while the fourth stage evolves to an emergent higher form. You could say nature's tactic is adaptation, while the overall strategic outcome is evolution. When an individual holon exists, it can be said to have a natural bias towards one thing. When two such holon biases combine, they each retain their unique individual biases, but also combine as a lens that creates a shared lens paradox with a new bias. A third holon bias serves as the foundational basis of a paradigm equilibrium, where each original holon has four regions of uniqueness, acting in equilibrium to resolve bias for any one holon. Finally, the combination of a fourth holon resolves paradox within the construction and a monad resolution is achieved. Monad, from the Greek monas, meaning singularity, or monos, meaning alone, refers in Pythagorean cosmology to the totality of all things, or a single source acting alone. Monad re-emerged as the base unit of perceptual reality in mathematician and philosopher Gottfried Leibniz's 18th century book, The Monadology. Not so fast. Holonic construction is supposed to generate a 1, 2, 4, 8 progression, which evolves to a new and higher form of agency at the fourth stage of monad resolution. Yet a four-circle Venn diagram shown in two dimensions, has only progressed to seven regions of holonic construction. What's missing? What's wrong? Holons, represented as two-dimensional circles, can finitely intersect at only two points. So the more accurate way of illustrating the construction of a monad is with a four-Venn diagram of ellipses. Euler's relation states that ellipses may intersect at four points, fully demonstrating the four-dimensional nature of holonic constructs that reach full monad resolution and the eight resulting regions that holonic construction predicts for wholeness. Since a five-elliptical Venn diagram can only serve to generate five regions of monad resolution, the only new region created must again return to an overall state of holon bias. So, in a counterintuitive twist, Adding a fifth dimension to holonic construction does not increase the complexity further. Instead, it returns the progression to the first-order effect of holon bias, setting the purpose towards a new monad capable of a higher level of agency.